everyone, this is Mary from SVG Cuts, and I'm here today with all kinds of brand new, really fun Valentine projects. So the most noteworthy part of this kit must be this three-dimensional strawberry, and this one was actually Leo's idea, so good job Leo, awesome idea, and I'm really loving the way that it came out. So you can fill it up with some little candies or whatever, and like I've said before, I think it's not so much what you put in it, but just the whole presentation of the whole thing for someone is really going to make their day and they'll be like, wow, that's so cool. So you could obviously, instead of brown, you could use red and make it a regular strawberry or you could do white for like white chocolate or what have you. So we also have a really cute card here with a fun vintage inspired Cupid silhouette. And I also thought it would be fun to have a big Cupid to hang up. As you can see back there, we have our like large size Cupid silhouette hanging out, hanging up. So that's the, the same Cupid, but with a hole punched in it. And that one's two layers thick, so it's a little bit sturdier and thicker. So we also have our cute little crackers, which are super quick to whip up because they are just one piece. And all you have to do is glue along one tab and fold it up and bam, you have your really cute cracker. So that's also fun to decorate and to use your really pretty papers with. So we also have our pencil valentine, and I've been thinking about some kind of pencil valentine thing for a while now, thinking, hmm, what should I do? And then when I was at Joanne Fabrics, I saw this whole package of really cute valentine pencils for a couple of bucks. It doesn't say how much, but there's 24 in there, so you could probably buy two and you'd have enough for a whole classroom of kids. And these are really quick to whip up. The pencil just slides right through there, and I secured the little arrow part with some decorative craft washi tape, which I've seen at Joanne Fabrics and Michaels. And it's good because it's not too sticky, so you can peel it off the pencil, but it'll hold it on there, and it's super cute. So we also have this little box with the see-through window, which really showcases your pretty chocolates or brownies or maybe homemade cookies or whatever. And I actually had some extra room in my box, so I stuffed it with some of this shredded paper here, which I picked up at Michael's in the, like, the gift wrap area. So I think that's really cool <clears throat> because if you buy a whole entire pre-decorated made box with candy in it, it's always kind of pricey this time of year, but if you want to make or buy your own treats and make your own box, it's going to be cheaper and more special and handmade. So another cool thing about that box is that it's pretty much just two pieces, the lid and the bottom, and then there are a couple little, little liner pieces to finish it off and make it look real pretty and you can decorate it and everything. So the paper that I used this time is by Basic Gray and it's called the Kissing Booth Paper Collection. And as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it and I had to have it. And I think like this houndstooth pattern, usually that's a real thick, warm fabric, so that kind of makes it look more cozy and wintry since Valentine's is a winter holiday. And just the really pretty pinks and everything are a lot of fun. And there's some surprising bold patterns like this. So I really loved this paper collection, but of course whatever Valentine's paper you have or you find is also gonna look really cute. So I've got all my pieces cut out to show you how these three-dimensional items go together. So let me show you. So first, let's start off with this super simple little cracker here. And like I was saying, it is just one piece. So all you need to do is put some glue on this long tab here. My glue is kind of stuffed up right now, but all you're going to do is fold it around like this. And then you just tie your little ribbon on one end and on the other end and you can add your little pink hearts if you want to. I embossed mine with my um, embossing machine and I, I rubbed a ink pad around the edge of the pink just to add some dimension there. So just for a close up here on our little pencil valentine, it's super easy to figure out how to you know put it together. The slits are obviously for the pencil, which slides right through. I tied a cute little bow on the end and as far as this little arrowhead goes, you could do it without the tape and it's just not as stable and secure. So I thought, I happen to have some washi tape laying around and it's basically like thin, like masking tape that's decorative. So I just put a tiny little piece there to secure it. 
So for our truffle box here, I've got the bottom, which is made up of one main piece and this liner part, which goes in the bottom at the end. And then this part, which is gonna also be a liner and it's gonna cover up a seam. So let's start by gluing our main piece together here. And all I'm gonna do is put glue on one of these four tabs to start off with. And it doesn't matter which one because they're all the same. It's a square with four, four identical sides. So just go ahead and do the same thing all the way around on all four of these tabs on the main, this big main piece for the bottom here. So it's pretty, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. We're just forming a flat little box bottom. So I've got my box bottom together here. I just want to put some glue all over this big square piece and just glue that in the bottom for some added strength. I've also got this little piece, but we're going to save that for the end and let's move on to the lid of our box now. So let's start by taking a look at the front here. I can tell this is the front with this big circle. And what I want to do is first put some glue on one of these side tabs and put that in place. Give it a chance to dry and do the same thing on the other side. And I just love this paper. I think it's so pretty. I'm going to have to get some more, some more goodies so I can give this second box here to somebody. Okay, so now let's take this piece here with the circle in front and we're just gonna glue it, glue it down like this. So I'll go ahead and put glue on the inside. And I'm not being super meticulous with my glue here. I just want you to get the idea of how to do it. So the lid is completely formed and I'm just going to take my clear plastic, which is actually a page protector sheet from Staples. And like I've said before, you might have heard me say this before, I like to get these page protectors. I like to get just a big package of them for this kind of thing because you can get a lot of them for a pretty low price. And what I wanna do is cut it Cut it to be a little bit smaller than this, which is basically like six and three quarters by six and three quarters. Or you can just eyeball it like I'm doing here. Even if, even if you don't cut in a straight line, it, it doesn't matter because no one's gonna see the edges. It's two layers thick since it's a page protector, so got rid of one of the layers. And all I'm gonna do is glue that down right here on my heart. So I like to put a line of glue about a third of an inch away from the edge because it will it'll smush inwards once you put it down and it might show through if it's too close to the edge. So then I put a line of glue around the edge of my square too and just plop it down and press it down so that your glue's not, not too fat of a line. We want our glue kind of pressed down. So next, I'm just going to take this liner piece here. And I also want to stay a little bit away from the edge again, like a, a quarter to a third of an inch maybe, so that the glue doesn't seep through and show on my clear plastic. Now this pink matches pretty well with the interior paper here. If I had more of this pink and white floral pattern, I would use that, but I don't, so this is fine. And that just finishes it off and makes it look nice. So now let's grab our box bottom and we want this flap here to get glued on the inside of our box bottom. So let's 
put some glue on this whole entire piece and that's the easiest way here. I think I'm going to put it on and then push it backwards and give it a second to take hold before I open it up and push it down all, all around, push it down. And I haven't glued this down so that it's falling, but that's okay. Now this little piece here just gets glued right on top of where we just glued to cover it up and make it look nice. And that's it. So now for our three-dimensional strawberry, let's start with the bottom. And the bottom is just made up of two pieces like this, one of which I've already started to glue, and then eight panels, which look like this, and go on at the end. So let's start by going down one row of tabs with glue and and then one at a time I just want to line it up with its neighbor as perfectly as possible with the edge along the fold and I'm just working my way down and with this dark paper you can really see the glue if I I guess if you put too much glue too close to the edge you can kind of see it so I should be more careful but as long as you get the idea of how it goes together that's all that matters so I'm just gonna do the same exact thing all the way down I'm gonna join it to the other one and I'm just gonna do this again all the way around the whole entire bottom so go ahead and work your way down. So I've got one half here glued together and I'm just going to take my other half and join it to this one. Now I already started to glue this together. You don't have to do that ahead of time like I did. And we're just going to do the same exact thing, same principle here. Just putting glue on all these tabs and just going down one at a time. So the only, the only other tip I can think of is just to give, give each tab a little bit of a chance to dry before you move on to the next one, just so it doesn't pull out of place while you're working your way down. But other than that, I think it's pretty darn easy, actually, <clears throat> which is surprising when you, when you see the finished strawberry, you would never guess it'd be pretty easy actually. So that's cool. People will be wowed by your project, which is always fun. So just go ahead and work your way around. So I've got most of my strawberry bottom all together here. And to close it up, I'm sure you can guess it's just the same thing again. Just putting glue on all these tabs that are left here and just carefully gluing them one at a time to close it up. And by this point, it really kind of falls into place and is nice and easy. So at this point, you can take a look at your panels that you have. There should be eight of them. And to glue them on, all we're gonna do is put a little bit of glue at the top and a little at the bottom and line that up right in the middle, flush with the top, and give it a, a minute to dry here, and just curve it down and around. And I'm holding it from the inside and pushing from the outside, giving it a chance to dry before I move on and finish all the way around with those eight panels. So now for the top of our strawberry here, we've got two pieces like this. This is a liner that goes at the end, in the inside at the end. This is the top, and there's two pieces like this. Then we've got, again, eight liners that look, or I mean eight panels that look like this one, as well as a top panel. And then we've got our two little bunches of leaves here. So let's start 
by putting glue on just one tab here. And as you can see, there's a teeny tiny little tab below it, which you don't need to glue. That is just there to kind of cover the gap a little bit, but it's not necessary to glue it, which is good because it's tiny and that would be a pain in the butt. So just work your way around your strawberry top, which goes together super fast because it's only one tab. And before you know it, you're ready to grab your other piece here and glue that in place with these three tabs. And then you're just gonna work your way around the whole top until we get to the other side, which we will close up. So now we are almost done with our strawberry lid here. We just got three tabs to put glue on and close it up. So I just wanna go one at a time. And I really wanna give this a chance to dry before I move on to my next one because there's kind of a lot of tension that wants to pull it apart. So we don't want it to do that and be like off. Okay, so now we've got these top tabs up here, which I wanna cover in a thin layer of glue. And then we can grab this top piece with the two small holes in it. And it doesn't matter which, which way you turn it because it's all of the sides are the same length. So just do your best to align it to its little sides and make sure the corners are as close to perfect as you can get. It's probably tough to get it 100% scientifically perfect, but as long as it's close enough, I think that's perfect. So then we can grab our liner piece here and put glue all over it. And that just goes right inside to finish it off and make it look a little nicer in there. And give it some added strength too. Okay, so now we can put this guy right on top. And obviously I wanna line it up with the two holes, lined up with the other two holes. And then we've got these eight liner pieces which again, just get glue on some of the top and on some of the bottom. And I just wanna put that right in the middle and give it a good chance to dry because we're gonna bend it kinda hard here. And I just need to really hold that for a minute here while it dries, otherwise it wants to pull apart since we bent it so much. So go ahead and do that around the whole thing and then take our two little leaf pieces here and every leaf is scored in the middle so you can pinch them in half and then they just get glued one on top of the other obviously with these two holes lining up with the two holes there and then you can take a cute green ribbon and tie it through the two holes like I have done here on mine. So there you have it, all kinds of really fun Valentine's projects for you to work on this February. So I hope you have fun watching, I hope you have fun making these crafts, and if you do, you'll have to share a picture on our Facebook wall or on your blog or Instagram or in our forum. So thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time, and happy crafting! Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content with you in the middle. svgcuts.com, inspiring you to live creatively and beautifully.